Hello. Hello. Um, could you tell everybody your name and where you're from? Yes, uh, my name is Björk Larsdottir and I'm from Iceland. Okay, and what's my nickname for you? Ice Queen. She, her name is Ice Queen. I like it. Because you are an ice queen. Mm. And um, I just want to ask you like a little bit about how you decided to come to Kamal Hospital. Right. Um, well, like I said, I'm from Iceland and you know, there's like this long waiting list to, you know, have your uh, sex reassignment surgery in Iceland because of COVID and it's just getting, you know, longer and longer. And I mean, when I had decided that I wanted to go uh, undergo uh, surgery, yeah. there was no turning back. And uh, I mean, I've always known that I was going to do it at, at some point. Yeah. But um, my friend is actually from Thailand. She lives in Iceland and she uh, appointed me to this hospital. Oh. I didn't know it existed yeah. uh, because I was just so impatient. I wanted to get it and I didn't want to wait yeah. because why, like, you know, wait for happiness yeah. and um, I'm, yeah, so I got in contact with this hospital and everything just started. Yeah. Going. And what procedure, which technique did you have? So I had uh, SRS PPV and that stands for sex reassignment surgery, uh, penal peritoneal vaginoplasty. I don't yes. know what that, that means. No, that was pretty good yeah, right? And uh, I can... <laughs> There's no way in hell I can, like, I can't explain how it's done, but yeah. it's... Um, but why did you choose that one? Well, um, there are just so many benefits, like, um, with the vagina, it's, it's elastic, um, you self-lubricate, and the fact that you don't have to dilate forever is, yeah. like, a good thing. Yeah. And it just, it was the best um, option for me, I think. Yeah. And um, I wanted to ask you, how did you find your experience coming here and whilst you were here? All right, so um, I didn't really know what I was going into, but I can honestly say that it's just like a dream. I can't believe how everything has gone like so smoothly and no complication, it's just, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy about this experience. Yeah. yeah. And uh, how did you find like the hospital and the hospital staff? The nurses were so professional. I mean, I, I can't believe how professional they are. Everything is done the same way. It's so, and they were, they treated me like so carefully and um, I mean, Dr. Kaman himself is just like a ma magician. He has like magic hands and and you can just feel that he knows what he's doing and it's mm -hmm. very, I, I mean, I felt safe in his hands. And I mean, you're awesome, <laughs> my representative. <laughs> um, it's just, every, yeah, it's just, everybody's so professional. Yeah. And um, I wanted to ask you, how did you feel in yourself waking up and having the correct body, oh like how, how did it feel? It's just like all my, I mean, I'm not exaggerating here, I'm not, but it felt like all my problems were just lifted off. Yeah. I mean, I've had issues all my life and I haven't been happy yeah. all my life. And um, it was just this moment when you realize, okay, it's done, it's not there anymore, I have the, the right parts it was such a relief yeah. and it just I'm at ease I'm calm I thought I would be like very hyper and you know high but it's just like it's it's over it's done it's over with and never turning back yeah. it's like it's a relief isn't yes, it yes it is and like how did you find like the certain points that I guess so Poignant, like going to the toilet normally for the first time. I was time. just going to talk about that. Actually, the first time when the catheter was taken out, the urine catheter, which that really bothered me. Um, 
and I peed for the first time, I can honestly say that that was the point when I felt, you know, womanhood. That's when womanhood yeah. began for me. It's funny because, like, you think it's going to feel weird, but it yeah. just feels normal. Yeah. And you're just like, oh, yeah, this is how... This right. Is yeah. And, um, I don't know why womanhood began at that point, but it was just something. It was just, it felt right. Yeah. You know, I, I have always, <laughs> I've always paid sitting down. Yeah. I don't know why. Well, but it just, this time it felt so natural. Yeah. And yeah, I don't know. It's hard to explain. Um, what would you tell um, other women and girls out there yeah. considering coming here for surgery? I mean, if you want the best, I mean, we're talking about the biggest thing in your life. Um, for me, that's the case. It's the biggest step in my life. I wanted to uh, go for the best. Um, you know, it doesn't matter what the, the price is. It's remarkably cheap and the best. It's actually right. quite I, I strange, mean, right. really. Because yeah. normally you think of the best is going to be the most expensive, right. but it's strange that it's not. I have, I, I, don't, I wouldn't change a thing. Yeah. And I mean, I, I mean with my experience, my time here, the result, um, you know, my vagina, I wouldn't change a thing. I mean, it is still a little swollen, but I can see every day, like, progress. Yeah. And, how it's, uh, you know, healing. You're, you heal quicker than most, actually. Yeah, I've heard that. Um, I'm a quick healer, I guess. And Very quick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's not normal. <laughs> well. What do we call you, super vagina? Right. We're gonna, have, <laughs> no doubt that'll get cut out, but. It's, edit that, it's edit not that normal. out. It's not normal. She's on size three dilator. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm on size three. Um, that's not, not normal. Not, not normal, normal okay. but I just, I followed my instinct and, I mean, it was it was getting too easy yeah. with number one, number one, and then I moved up to number two, and that was yeah. also easy. So I moved up to three, and it's going very well. That's amazing. Yeah. What you're looking forward to most about returning home? I'm looking forward to um, well, for example, going swimming and yeah. uh, you know being able to use the right locker room and just enjoy my life as a free woman you know yeah. not a prisoner in my own body and i, I mean yeah. i can go wherever and i don't have to hide a thing yeah um yeah just everything just yeah and if you could add just like i don't know one sentence for people out there about anything i don't really know what i don't know what that means but if you believe in yourself enough and know what you want, you're gonna make it happen. Oh, I like that. Okay, I love your ice cream. Love you too. <laughs>